Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, we'll look at the difference between the waveform and spectral frequency display in Adobe Audition CC. So here we are in Adobe Audition, and you'll see by default, you usually get a waveform view. Now, waveform is fantastic for one thing in particular, showing you how loud or quiet a piece of audio is. So you can see around here, the audio is quite loud, and around here, the audio is pretty quiet quiet, but you don't get much more information than that. Spectral frequency display is accessible by clicking this icon up here, show spectral frequency display, or hitting Shift and D on your keyboard. Now, this looks like a big heat map, but what exactly does it do? Spectral frequency is good for showing you the loudness of different frequencies in the voice. So down here, this is the bass, around here is the mid, and up here, the high end. Uh, so in a voice, Lots of stuff around the mid, but also in this male voice. On all social media platforms. Lots of bass, apart from at the end where there's a big s. And of course, that's apparent because the s has a lot up here in the high and not much down in the low end. So the first thing you may want to use the spectral frequency view for is checking where your frequencies are. If there's sibilance, where is that sibilance occurring? Let's marquee select this around here. And you can isolate individual frequencies. So I can listen to the bass here. On all social I can listen to the high end. Or I can listen to the mid. So if I highlight this uh, sibilance here, I can see over here on the meter bar, it's occurring around 5K. Now I can get even more details uh, by popping out a window such as frequency analysis, and I can really zoom in on the frequency that it is. It's probably happening around five and a half thousand hertz. So that is very helpful indeed. And that's the first way that I would go ahead and use this. Another way to use spectral frequency display is to actually see audio when you really don't hold much hope that it's actually there. For instance, if you're working on something with a lot of noise like this, a lot of rumble, a lot of hiss going on, and apparently there's speech there, but the waveform wouldn't reveal it. However, if you go into spectral frequency view, you can see quite clearly this is all noise. This bright yellow down here is rumble. And somewhere around here where we see the different kind of uh, flame effect, this is our speech. And this really helps us to do detailed uh, noise restoration work. So here we'd like eliminate a lot of this noise, which is purple around here, and eventually try and get the silence in between the speech to be completely black in spectral frequency view. And spectral frequency view is great for showing you if there is noise occurring where there is supposed to be no noise, i.e. when no one's talking. Uh, so if you've got a lot of like, um, this is a perfect example kind of like that fuzzy white noise like you see on old TV sets, but in purple and red, uh, that's an indication you've got a lot of noise in your track. So spectral frequency as opposed to waveform is much better uh, for it than that. And another great reason I like to use it is going into voiceover sessions and checking everything is hunky-dory. If I play this back... Welcome to Modern Digital Applications. You'll hear at the end, our speaker goes click, click, click. She's got mouth clicks at the end. And spectral frequency will show this up far better than a waveform would. Can't see anything really in the waveform. Here in spectral frequency, we can see these are individual mouth clicks right here, 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 here. If you are listening closely you might just hear that mouth click. Uh, so again, uh, we can grab the spot healing brush tool and Photoshop these mouth clicks out, holding down shift to go down in a straight line like this and this. Sometimes you need to do one or two passes on this, but you can only do this kind of stuff in spectral frequency. Uh, and we're getting rid of most of those mouth clicks like that. And let's make it a little bit bigger just for an overall pass over here and an overall pass here and here as well. Now if we zoom out, most of those mouth clicks should have gone. Welcome to modern digital applications. And Welcome. they have. You can't hear them at all. Spectral frequency, brilliant for that too. So removing mouth clicks, checking the audio is actually there, noise restoration, reduction work, sibilance, checking for frequencies, low end, mid range, high end, isolating frequencies here with the marquee select tool. Welcome to... Welcome to... You can grab each individual frequency. This is where spectral frequency wins compared to the waveform, which really just simply measures how loud or quiet a piece of audio is. Music Radio Creative 
Let's go!